Hey guys, Pringle Gaming here. Welcome back to the Mill Career Mode. It's Season 2, Episode 8, and boy, we have some fantastic games coming up in this episode. The first one is at home to Ipswich Town, and then we have another Euro League group stage game. This time, we're traveling to Belgium. The first game that we're going to have to travel to a foreign country to play our football. And then the final one is away from home to Nottingham Forest. And the next episode is going to look fantastic as we have Liverpool coming up in the round of 16 in the EFL Cup. But as for now, we've got Ipswich, Stanley Edge and Nottingham Forest. So let's just get into the team selection for the one against Ipswich. Right, so this is the team selection as we go up against Ipswich. We've got Alexander in goal. The two centre-backs are Malubu and the captain Hutchinson. The left-back is Saborit and the right-back is Cummins. Jaboli Arebi moves into the right midfield position with Pharrell and Ward Stang as the two centre midfielders moving forward. The left midfielder is Ferguson and then the two strikers are Aidan O'Brien and Nua Dicko. As for the players on the bench, we have Fran Vilbala, Thierry Ambrose, Greg Wilde, Ben Thompson, Byron Webster, Fred Odinyema and Tom King. So we've got a decent bench and a squad that's more than capable of getting the right result. So all we can do now is get into this game and see how it goes. What can McLaughlin do with the ball? I reckon he's a regen or someone I've just not heard of. They've obviously gone and signed him. And we're able to get the ball away for a matter of distances. And, well, it just goes straight into the back of the net. I don't know what Alexander was thinking. But it's obviously rose above him. And I don't know who scored. But let's just take another look at this goal. Put into the box, headed away, and headed into the back of the net by Scoose. Now, if I've got my knowledge correct, he doesn't score very many goals. So this is a very poor one to concede. We obviously have already conceded very early on into this game. We need to buck our ideas up if we are to carry on. Well, at the moment, he's got three goals this season. We've got to get back in this game. Ward. Tries to thread it through for Aiden O'Brien, who is still going. He stayed on his feet. Aiden O'Brien, how on earth did Aiden miss that chance? It was a golden opportunity on a silver platter, and he just managed to miss it by whiskers. O'Brien to Ward. Needs to thread it through to someone, and he does. To Nua Dicko, who could score. It's saved. Ward, there we go. We've equalised in this game, and it's the big man Ward, the youngster, with the goal. It is an all-important one to get back in this game. We have struggled in this first half, if I'm going to be honest. But that goal will help us out so, so much. I mean, let's have a look at it again. Dicko saved. I almost thought our luck had run out. We're trying to get that move going. And thankfully, Ward was there. He has had a really quiet game. But that can all be forgotten with a goal that puts us back in this game. And, well, he's been a fairly quiet player all season. And it's actually his first goal in the championship. Scores on the doors at half-time. Queen's Park Rangers are beating Villa. Bristol City are losing to Nottingham Forest, one of the signs we have to play. And Middlesbrough are beating Brighton. And as for the rest of the results, well, you can see them yourselves. If I'm going to be honest, this game, it just hasn't really been one that's been that interesting. We've obviously scored from that one lucky opportunity. I mean, it was on target. The two shots on target were the two that were involved in that goal. So it's a real shame that that's the only way that's happened so far. But there is a second half. Ipswich, I'd say, they've done really well for themselves and they could easily go on and win this. And to be fair, if they do, I wouldn't be that disappointed. They've done really well moving forward. And well, the second half is the only way we're going to find out what's going to happen found a Millwall man and now we're the ones leading it forward. Dicko over the top. What a ball to Aiden O'Brien. If he could pull the trigger, he could score. He does. There we go. The ever so lethal Aiden O'Brien is the guy that puts the ball in the back of the net. I mean, I was quite calm and composed when Aiden had the ball. He usually puts them away. He's a very good player. He obviously still wants to leave the club. That's something I'm not going to let go considering how well he's doing. He's definitely put himself out there to prove but he's a player that can do it at this level and it's a real shame because he is an asset to have at this club. He knows what he's doing. I mean, Gregory's been fairly poor this season, but Aiden O'Brien, like last season, has been quite a useful one to have in the team and he's finally coming into form. This is his third goal in the championship. 
Tried to find O'Brien, and well, again, this is where we're going to have to defend. It's a great save there by Alexander. He keeps us in this game. Tries to flick it over the top. Probably not where I wanted it to go. It looks like Vilbala's won it back. He is still moving the ball. Obviously, he came on as a substitute. Fran Vilbala still going. He's been brought down there. That is a penalty. It's a chance to go 3-1 up in this game. And it's only a yellow card to the captain chambers there. A silly challenge to make when you're 2-1 down. And obviously, he's really thrown his side in it. Because if we score here, there's probably no chance Ipswich are getting back into this one. Nua Dicko with the opportunity to score from the spot. Can he? No, he can't. It's a great save, but Aribi still has the ball, and he manages to get a corner out of that. And obviously, there's still an opportunity with a corner, so we're going to see what's happening. And, well, it looks like it's gone in from the corner, from the penalty. We've actually put it in. Now, it went too quick to see what happened, but it looks like Hutchinson, the captain, just knocks it into the net. Probably not really a striker's finish. But it's a defender. Let's put it in the back of the net. Nonetheless, and well, it is his first goal in the championship. One that he'll definitely remember. Probably not for the right reasons. In a game that probably wasn't the best, we made the most of scoring the very few opportunities we had. So I'm not going to complain. This is a lot of positives. Going into the game against Stanley Liège in Europe. So let's just get into that one. And obviously, let's just see who we're using in that match. Right, and this is the team I'm going to be using against Shai Renais. Obviously not the strongest, but these players can do a job. And one thing to note, these players, I don't care how they perform. This is a moment where we're creating memories. We've obviously done well in big occasions, getting to the final of the FA Cup. Obviously not quite winning it, but there's a reason why we're here in Europe. And that's for these players to just enjoy themselves. So Archer's in goal. The two centre-backs are Hutchinson and Cooper. Hutchinson obviously scored a goal. The left-backs are Joe Martin. And the right-back is Marlon Romeo. Two full-backs, obviously not the strongest ones. But they can do a job. The right midfielder is David Worrell. Two centre midfielders are Thompson and Butcher. Left midfielder is Greg Wilde. And two strikers are Ambrose and Gregory. The last time Gregory played in Europe, well, he created memories and got us those three points. On to the substitute bench. We have Aribi, O'Brien, Ferguson, a partially injured Scowan, Dicko, Onyema and King. So let's just see how this game goes when we're away in Belgium. And to note, we are yet to keep a clean sheet in Europe. It would be a great feeling if we could, but obviously I might be asking for too much as they go on an attack and almost score straight away. I think that clean sheet probably isn't coming in this one. Now, Thompson on to Gregory. Gregory tries to slip it through for Thierry Ambrose. Has the chance. Oh, my word. The post denies us that chance to score our first goal in this match. Thompson. Maybe through the lead, Gregory, who's still going. He has the shot. My word, that should have gone in. And it just only went wide. It was so close in the end. Scores on the doors at half time. And Liverpool are beating Yudi Las Palmas. We've also got a draw between Roma and Olympiacos. Spurs are beating AZ Alkmaar. Stoke are losing to FC Laurent. And, well, another result that we can say is that Wolfsburg are drawing 0-0 with Lokomotiv Moscow. Now, as for the rest of the results, I'm just going to flick through them, and you can quite simply see them while I'm just saying this. But as for our result, let's see how far we're doing in terms of the statistical side of things at half-time. Well, the stats say it has actually been all last, even though Liege have had some decent play of football, well, you can kind of see that in the possession stats, but they haven't threatened us just yet. Well, to be fair, this game's been a real letdown because we've been doing really well in Europe. And, well, the Edge, I'd say, are the best team in this group. So, all we can say is the second half's obviously coming. We've just got to see what we can do. Corners are so dangerous, and I'm so worried that they could catch us on this. And, well, as for a clearance that bad, it could literally lead to anything. That is an opportunity of my word. That is an outstanding goal. What do you say apart from take a bow? My word, I've seen some good goals in my time, but that's probably the best one I've ever had scored against me in my entire time of recording a career mode on my channel. I mean, we're going to have to take this in again. I don't even think Archer could have done anything if he tried. 
I think the guy's name was Treble. They had the opportunity. I mean, look at that. An absolute screamer. If we lose to this, I can't complain because, my word, that was a quality strike if I've ever seen one. And, well, yes, it's a shame to have conceded, but just I can't say anything else. That was a fantastic shot, and it deserved to go in. And has he scored any more? He hasn't. Well, if that's the only goal he scores in the Euro League, he'll definitely be remembering that one. Lee Gregory tried to find Thompson, and well, obviously he's caught out, but Ben Thompson wins it back here. Ben Thompson flicks it back to Lee Gregory, has the shot, great save. Ambrose tried to get the header. Thompson puts it back in, and well, it's eventually got rid of. Threaded through to Callum Butcher, who gets manhandled. Butcher is still going, though. Callum Butcher, oh, my word, it hits the post and crossbar. That should have gone in, and I think that's it. I really do. I don't think we've got any more chances left in us. Not good enough, and, well, on the basis of play, we probably played better than them, and it's upsetting, obviously. But what can I say? We've lost our first game in Europe. And it's to the one that I thought would beat us, to be honest. Out of all the sides, I expected them to do it. Coming to their place ain't easy. So, I'll take that with a pinch of salt. We did lose. It was only 1-0. At the end of the day, we shouldn't even be in Europe. So, it's an outstanding result, nonetheless. And let's go back to reality by playing in the championship away from home to Nottingham Forest. Let's see who we're using in that game. Right, and this is the team we're going to be using against Nottingham Forest. I've changed up a couple of the players, not because we lost, but because I just want to see how different players play in different ways and all that sort of stuff. So, I'm just going to remain in goal. The left-back support, two centre-backs continue to be Cooper and Hutchinson. The right-back is Cummins, the right midfielder is Fred. Two centre midfielders are Thompson and Scowan, who came on as a sub later in that game. Cox is the left midfielder, two strikers are Ambrose, who had a terrible day in obviously playing in Belgium, and then Shietri comes in, getting an opportunity to play once again. The substitute bench has a rebeat, O'Brien, Ferguson, Butcher, Dicko, who is currently the top goal scorer in the league, Evans and King. So let's just get into this game against Forrest and see how it goes. Straight back to him. Scowan is full of goals, and well, could he score in this one? He can't. It's only because of block. Scores on the doors at the half-time. Palace are drawing with Aston Villa. Something we like to hear. Leeds are losing to Cholton. And Cardiff are winning 2-0 away from home to Rotherham United. As for how we're doing, well, let's have a quick check. I'm not exactly going to sugarcoat this game. It's been dreadful, to be honest. They haven't done anything. We haven't done anything. I think it's safe to say the second half is going to have to be an improvement. I mean, it's going to be hard not to, to be honest. There's just so much that needs to improve in the second half. Has the pace and ability to get in behind. Find Scowan. Back to Fred. Oh, he's actually been played through. Fred plays it back across. We should have scored there. And in fact, we have. I believe number 20 is Thierry Ambrose. And it's been a long overdue. The striker has had an absolute nightmare in front of goal. He deserved to score in Europe in the last game. And, well, in fact, he's had a couple of decent chances where if he had only had a shot, it probably would have done a lot more damage. You can call it sweaty as much as you want. It was swung across, and, well, he's just gone and tapped in. It doesn't matter how it goes in at the end of the day. It's all about winning if you want to get that promotion. At the end of the day, if you have to score a couple of goals by dirty tactics, then you do it. And well, Ambrose gets that goal. And it's his fifth in the championship. He must be feeling relieved after struggling in the last couple. That was a poor pass, and Britt Osabalonga could be gifted a golden opportunity as the shot. Well, Archer had to make that save. Verby still going, he has the chance, he hits the post, they could score, they have. Oh my word. We fell asleep and well, we've been punished. It's as simple as that. It's painful to see them celebrating, you know, because it's not exactly been a fantastic game. I'm sitting here, I'm, I'm devastated the fact that we've conceded. And, well, it's very similar to our one. A chance to simply put it away, and you do. You don't give a player like Britt Osabalonga a practically open goal. It just don't happen. 
And that's why he's one of my favourite strikers, and he deserved to score that. He's been great all game. And well, that is, he's sixth in the league. He's probably going to score much more this season, but we have been punished. It's now with Vaughan. I think we're going to be looking at a point here, unless Bender works some magic. He is working it. He is going for it. Lord Bender. Oh, no. Oh, I've been joking about him all game. He's came on as a sub, and I've been joking about him, and he's scored. He's made us be punished. Oh, that's just annoying. It, it was a pretty good goal, to be fair to him. And Archer should have done better, but <laughs> I don't know what to say. I really don't. You mock a player, they punish you. It's safe to say we ain't had the best of episodes. Uh, I guess. I guess we deserved it at some point to start losing a couple of games. And, well, that is his first. He won't score very many. He's not that great, is he? Let's be honest. But it could be a crucial win. Safe to say I'm disappointed, but Forrest have been great. They deserved it. And, well, Bentner, yeah, he scored. There's nothing else I can say. Bentner scored. Sums up the way we played in this game. Not good enough. And, uh, well, let's just see the impact that has on in terms of our position in the league. And then we're in the episode. Well, we're joint top in the league with Crystal Palace. Yeah, probably not the best, but, you know, we're still top. We're still in the top two. That is an incredible achievement. I mean, we're just newly promoted. So, I don't care where we finish in terms of... I wouldn't even be bothered if we finished down here. It really doesn't matter to me so much. But the fact we're first, it's incredible. It really is. The squad's doing great. Obviously, two losses in three games. There's a lot to improve on. Well, we've got time to improve on it. The next one's Liverpool. That's going to be an interesting one. But as for the table, Forest do beat us. Obviously, get valuable three points here. They move to third in the league. They're joined by Borough, Villa and QPR in the playoffs. Now moving down the table, Cholton, Brighton and Fulham are in that relegation zone. And that is where we are going to end the episode. So like, comment, subscribe. And of course, I will see you guys in the next Middle Career Mode episode. But until then, goodbye.